guys, it is a great pleasure to present the research validation. Very important for uh, researchers. But before addressing this question, I ask you to subscribe to the Professor Murilo Diaz channel. All right, what are the types of validation in research? Well, for instance, uh, we will discuss some of them. Face validity, for instance, which in which instruments seems, seem adequate to measure what they were designed to measure. For instance, how to uh, you to assess face validity? You ask um, an, uh, an expert to double check your research, for instance. In this case, your supervisor. Content validity, which is assumed to be present to the extent that an instrument covers all the dimensions of a concept. Well, uh, it, is, it is exactly that. If the, the, your, your instruments, they cover the whole phenomenon under investigation, the criterion validity, which relates to the concept applied to an indicator, which is a criterion applied to an instrument, for instance, if you're understanding or studying uh, a negotiation process, and maybe uh, your, in your interviews, you, you could uh, interview um, respondents with more than 15 years of negotiation experience. For instance, business negotiation experience. This is your criterion. Because imagine that you are investigating uh, respondents with one or two years of negotiation experience. Therefore, you should first, up front, select what criteria should be applied. Once you select this criteria and you interview 40 people, for instance, and uh, you say that, uh, well, at least 90% of the interviewees had at least 15 years of negotiation uh, experience. All right, that's fine. And you, your validity could be assessed this way. Construct validity, which refers to the relationship between the concept of a study and other concepts. Well, <clears throat> what is about what about internal versus external validation? Well, what is internal validation? It's a form of measurement based on the correlation between different items in the same test. Basically, it is the Kronbach's alpha, uh, which is uh, varies from zero to one. All right. And what what is external validation? Is the generalization of the conclusions of a study. Well, in practice, if we, if the universe is one thousand uh, samples, one thousand individuals, for instance, and you investigated two hundred, this the internal validation was conducted within the two hundred individuals for of the universe. The external validation, and you should now study the remaining eight hundred individuals from this 1,000 sample. This is what external validation is. You conduct an investigation uh, withdrawing the current, the actual <coughs> uh, sample investigated in an internal uh, validation. All right? Well, these are some references. I always recommend this summary book and qualitative data analysis. Johnny Saldanha's coding manual, uh, uh, Catherine Dawson uh, research methods, the other qualitative analysis a book uh, from Carol Gersh, of course the APA American Psychological Association manual. Here are the references for you, and I will copy and paste them in the video description. If you like it subscribe and it would be a great pleasure to be here with you today in the future presenting new content subscribe to the professor Mario Diaz channel thank you so much for being here with us and <clears throat>
See you next time.